Every second, everywhere around us, in the air, ground, sea and space, millions of information sensing devices, satellites, software logs, cameras, sensors, microphones and wireless networks collect data. The speed of the data stream is unbelievable. It was estimated that in 2012, every day, 2.5 exabytes of new data were created. To store that amount of daily data, we would need a million regular laptops. But it is only data. It's zeros and ones, alphabet without words. Without proper handling and interpretation, it is useless. The Finnish Centre of Excellence in Computational Inference Research, COIN, develops methods for transforming the data produced by the current data revolution into useful information. COIN's emphasis is on so-called big data, large data collections and computationally demanding modelling and inference algorithms applied especially to genetics and bioinformatics and information access in general. The goal there is, is to develop methods that would give people the information they need uh, when they need it in the form that is most useful for them. The personalized medicine problem in essence is that we have measurements of a patient, genomic measurements of the patient, and our task is to infer for a set of drugs which of these drugs would work for this particular patient. The level of ambition is high. The unit works in close cooperation with, for instance, climate research, as well as with neuroscience and the humanities, it also cooperates actively with the corporate world. When we started the company, we knew that we would like to do something with real world, because that's where machine learning based robotics is at its best. There are many tasks which cannot be handled by standard industrial robots because they, they just don't understand the situation. They can do repetitive tasks which uh, don't require understanding the world. Machine learning based robotics is uh, very good for real world tasks and we found waste sorting as uh, an important application for that kind of robotics which is capable of handling natural environments. COIN researchers work on multiple superficially different research questions, from medicine to the humanities. The common denominators are computational inference, machine learning and artificial intelligence. What does learning from data mean in practice? So researchers at COIN have been studying the fairy tale Little Red Riding Hood. They have various versions of it available. Based on the differences of these versions, it is possible to infer which was first. And they have been able to trace it back that it's, it's not actually a European fairy tale. It dates back to either China or India. But what is interesting for machine learning additionally is that the same kinds of methods can be used and have been used for tracking the evolution of bacteria. The indirect societal impact of machine learning is massive. For example, production can be smarter and more demand oriented, healthcare and drug development can take into account individual needs. Maybe the biggest impact of machine learning is that it can improve the research process itself, driving all science forward towards a better world in informatics, biology and medicine, climate research, humanities and social sciences, robotics and automation.